Is it Godzilla Kong or Godzilla Guys, X Kong? I guess it hasn't come out yet, but I asked the director, and the director, Adam Wingard, said the official out loud pronunciation is Godzilla Kong, the new empire. They didn't do a voiceover no. trailer that ended with Godzilla, Godzilla Kong, Kong, the new empire. Oh, they that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I also, the, the only, <laughs> what was that, Jordan? That's my trailer voice. <laughs> Godzilla Kong, rise of an empire. That's really bad. Thank you, in a world. <laughs> Welcome back to The Break Room. Godzilla Kong, The New Empire has left out Apollo Earth and into theaters. Ooh. But how do we feel about it? Oh. It's The Break Room Movie Review. Hit the graphic. Hit it, baby. There was no graphic. Oh, okay. All right. I, I forgot to tell Dashiell. That'll come back close <laughs> to <laughs> um, Whoa! <laughs> that graphic, the graphic. That was definitely there. Uh, I'm Evan, and joining me today, we have Jordan Morris. Hi. Hi, everybody. We have Brandon Barrick. Oof. That's my Kong impression. <laughs> and Hector Navarro. Hi. That's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. It was just oof. Yeah, he does a lot of oof. Yeah, yeah. that's oof. true. Right. He does a lot of owie my teeth. Hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After the movie, when I was like home brushing my teeth, I was like oof. 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 Dude, nothing's going to make you want to go to a dentist less than having to crawl out of hollow earth. To find your dentist. Right? right? Ugh. That's such, you're like, you're never gonna get your I mean, that's out. service. They had that two thing, bada boom. Yeah. How does he know how to do that? It's been years. How does he know how to do what? <laughs> it's not the first uh, tooth they Kong replaced. or the doctor? Trapper. Both. I don't Trapper. know. Trapper. There should have been a scene where, like, Trapper, he like brings in the tooth yeah. and then goes back up and then brings down a giant lollipop for him. Oh, that'd have been good. That'd have been good. Because he was so good. He was so good for his dental. Like a like a giant head of a titan on a stick or something like oh, that. Oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you don't know what we're referencing or not referencing, uh, we're definitely gonna spoil the movie. So uh, stick around if you want spoilers. If not, come back and watch us later. Um, as we do on every break from movie review, we'll grade the movie in parts from one to five. Half points are okay. And our off-screen mm -hmm. team will be doing the math to get us the total number. Uh, uh, we'll be grading the script, the story and writing, the acting, the visuals, the directing, and the sound and score. Always the most climactic category <laughs> to end the review. Uh, so let's talk about the script and the story for a second, um, or first, rather. Written by Terry Rossio, Simon Barrett, and Jeremy Slater. Uh, Rossio did the 1998 Godzilla and Pirates Ooh, wow. of the Caribbean movies. Um, he has a lot of credits, a lot of animated credits. Very interesting. He did Shrek. Uh, Barrett is a frequent collaborator with That's why there's so, so much Smash Mouth in this yeah, movie. Yeah. Exactly, uh, yeah. Constant Smash Mouth. Constant. It was it's kind of like a, a Shrek kind of beginning for Kong there. So yes. He gets oh, up, yeah. scratches his ass. Yeah. Or was that Godzilla versus... No, that was Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, yeah. He like takes a shower. Oh, that's yeah. right. Somebody yeah. told me that Swamp Kong was gonna <laughs> roll me. I ain't the sharpest <laughs> monster in Earth. Bling. It's almost works. Jeremy Slater was the head writer of Moon Knight. So how did everyone feel about the kind of script and story for Godzilla Kong, The New Empire? Anyone want to start? Well, I will say, having watched the Monarch series, mm -hmm. uh, which was on Apple TV+, Plus, mm -hmm. uh, which was nine episodes, ten episodes, uh, yeah. it, was, it was long, and yeah. it kind of, it, the, the, it seemed like the point of that show was to fill in some holes between before Godzilla 2014, yeah. uh, between Godzilla 2014 and yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Between every movie. Explain how the Hollow Earth worked. They kind of got into the portals there. They kind of explained yeah. how it's like a dimension mm -hmm. and not so much just like physically inside. Very helpful. Uh, and then this movie did not take any of those notes. <laughs> I felt like Shackman did a lot of work world building that. And then this was like, eh, don't worry about that. <laughs> the, the portals just are still there. It's there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because, like, when they went through the portals in this one, it was, like, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yes. They were vibrating. Like, that guys, was a very long You guys sequence. were saying there was, like, more hollow Earth than before? Is that what we kind of walked away oh, yeah. with? That's what I felt like. Yeah. So, in the movie, um, Kong discovers that there are more of him, kind of yes. accidentally, by <laughs> setting up a trap to open up a, like, subterranean lake. Oh, that's light. right, that's right. The big yeah. old cave yeah. system thing. Exactly. That's where the bad guy lives. Yeah, And, yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. they put up a graphic subterranean hollow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then separately. But it still had a sky and two sides. Yes, there was, exactly. Oh. And light. And then separately, there was the Iwe people mm -hmm. that uh, Rebecca Hall and her team found that were... Not in that. They're not area? in the subterranean. They're in the regular oh, hollow, but hidden but away, hidden by a camouflage by a 
set up, zoo set up by Mothra. Mothra. Yeah. Set up by Mothra. I will say that with even the uh, me the past few weeks and months this year in anticipation for this movie, the fact that Godzilla Minus One came out last year, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that last year, as a little side note, my girlfriend who's a voice actor, she was in a Gamera show that they put on Netflix. Oh, like oh, anime. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, she was like, I've never seen Gamera movies. We watched all the Gamera movies last year. Mm -hmm. Super fun. They're a blast. They're a blast. He so loves then, children. Gamera he loves does. children. He's a defender of children. So mm -hmm. when we were done with that, we looked at each other and we're like, we've never seen every Godzilla movie. So for the past couple months we've been going through Dang. including all the Kong stuff including like oh before Mothra enters the Godzilla franchise she had her own movie right. Rodan had his own movie so we're like trying to hit all this stuff we're re-watching the MonsterVerse stuff we watched Monarch we watched Godzilla Minus One last year all of that with the MonsterVerse franchise I'm I'm right now at a place where I have a greater appreciation for all of it, mm -hmm. but I still don't love it to the same level that I love like other big Hollywood franchises. Mm. The Monarch show, good example. I didn't like the show, and even with all the world building, I felt like it's still inconsistent. Right. But then watching this movie at the end of the day, that kind of stuff, those details are not super important. It's not stuff that is blatantly contradicting itself. Yeah. At least. So in that regard, I appreciate that. For this movie for this story for this script i'm probably going to give it a two out of five i feel like it's fine that and they know what to which which human actors to bring back brian tyree henry from yeah. the last yeah. film was really great dope. right yeah. like really really good the rebecca hall uh who has the e-way daughter adoptive daughter interesting there's some mm -hmm. emotion there there's yeah. some stuff there i like i thought yeah. that relationship was very sweet for sure yeah. absolutely that stuff worked out. so if you're gonna spend time with human characters like yeah, all that stuff is not the worst. It's maybe not the most compelling. I definitely had more fun watching Kong yeah. just be in the world and be silent and do you know those sequences and everything. So like, I think there's a like braver, a brave yeah. sequel to this yeah. movie with no humans. Yeah, and yeah just yeah. silent. The Kong and little Kong scenes were all a ton of fun. Yes. And they, you know, communicate through grunts and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those were all mm -hmm. a blast. So in terms of like the story, the villain, the the you know the Scar King was cool. I like some of that stuff, but they're still, I don't know. I think that my my issues with the movie are not just on the script, mm -hmm. but I definitely think it could have been elevated to something where I think it was fantastic. My bar is always still Kong Skull Island. Yeah. The first mm -hmm. Kong movie in this franchise I think is kind of an amazing movie. Really underrated, I think is super successful at everything it sets out to do. The human stuff, the kaiju stuff, the world building, the lore, the mythology, the fun, everything. So. Um, that's where I'm at with this one. Yeah. Story. I, I, you know, we rewatched all these um, Jessica comments and some yep. breakdowns on the, on the new Rockstars channel. I really, it really brought back my love for Godzilla 2014. Interesting. Which is like really dark and, and very focused on if you are these people yeah. and you're around this, how do you survive? Yeah. And seeing the destruction and like most of it is from like a people perspective where you're looking up a lot and like you don't get to see a lot. Yes. This is bright and colorful and we see a lot of fights. But like that was like more fun and scary because at no point in this one am I worried for any of our main I know humans right they're yeah. never like even near the fight it felt like or the it, thousands, that spinning yeah. one or the thousands of people that are dying in the right right I know. Like, like watching watching okay. Rome get wiped out yeah. it's like okay. oh, this is pretty brutal like, <laughs> these are some and then he goes to sleep in the car and, and, and I guess that, cute. that, that was probably kill a lot of people when yeah. he went down. yeah yeah that was very cute but uh, <laughs> yeah a lot of people on the beach are dead you know it's interesting that that was the, the Gareth Edwards one is the one that you really I, I mean it's great like. That that halo jump when it's they're dope. jumping through the dark, the clouds and the red and the Godzilla's yeah. there like it's intense and like yeah. I mean Brian Cranston's is going hard in that movie dude I know but then they kill him off and they should have yeah. done that I know yeah, like I know. he would have been great to but stick around but you're not wrong but it is fun to yeah. see a world where you start from there that and then tone. how does the world react. And this is what happens in, you know, the Japanese Godzilla movies too, right? They build they, these big forces and they work with Godzilla. They get and they, very cartoony. They have machines yeah. that work with them. And that's fun too, but it just felt like I really loved, I really liked Godzilla versus Kong. That yeah. was, I don't think any fight in this lived up to the, the battleship sequence in no. Godzilla versus Kong. That was no. so fun yeah, and great. Yeah. This was just like, you know, this, it, it felt like it was really speeding through it, the Titan stuff. And then the human stuff was like taking a little longer than I needed it to. And I wonder if the speeding through it was uh, like a factor of the marketing of this movie being like, okay, we know there's like Scar King and we know that there's going to be a, a greater evil right now. And so we're waiting for that as opposed to Godzilla versus Kong right. where we're just seeing, it's like, we know that this movie is going to be about them fighting yeah. each other. You yeah. get a series of these, but then it builds into the Mechagodzilla fight, right. which becomes like, oh, and this is like, 
the real villain all Which was not in the trailer. Yes. It was right. like yeah, not yeah. revealed. That's still one of the most fun reveals yeah. in yeah. like recent movies. The fact that they held that back from the trailer was so right. awesome. Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as a, uh, I was a huge Godzilla kid and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but like them revealing that secret character was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a little bit of that in this one too. Yes, yeah. there is. So, but you might be right, Evan, in, in, in the terms of like, the last film, the event was these two guys are fighting. Mm -hmm. right. With this one, it's like, what is it? Is it the event that they're collaborating against? Yeah, the they're Star writing King? each other. They're now. Writing. They can write yeah. each other. <laughs> this has a lot of kaiju yeah. writing yeah, each yeah, other, yeah, and yeah. I yeah. love. I'm Hell here for yeah. it. I'm here yeah. for yeah. kaiju writing. That's true. Other I, kaiju. I didn't appreciate Kong writing Shimu back to Hong. Yeah, that was I was weird. like, I thought we're all equals now. I thought everyone. <laughs> yeah, I have freed you from your captivity. Let me ride you. Let me. Hey, let this little guy. Now I have the pain pointer. Did you, guys, I do. did you guys think it was weird that Godzilla and Shimu didn't fight after the the big battle and after they were able to freeze Scar Evan, and King? Let me stop you right there. You're overthinking it. We're, okay. we're that that's too smart of a question. Right. Are you asking yeah, because but Godzilla's like, trying to defend the Earth? If you try and make this movie make sense, you will that's, have a stroke. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> about, well, is, it, is it Godzilla like an alpha titan? And wouldn't Shimu be an alpha titan? And once yeah. the... Stop. That, the movie's over. <laughs> you have now thought more yeah, about yeah, it yeah, than yeah. anyone who yeah. made the movie yeah. thought about yeah. it. Yeah. Ask we, yourself the question, would a seven-year-old ask themselves this question? Mm. You know, yeah. and that's not an insult because yeah. this yeah. movie is intended for that audience, mm -hmm. and I think that in a lot of ways it succeeds in that. I don't have a kid. I don't know if, if uh, a personally, if, a, if I would know a kid that would be stoked to go see it, but mm -hmm. I know that kids like they liked Godzilla versus yeah. Kong. Yeah, they're got they're Godzilla fans as yeah. a whole, the whole franchise and everything. So yeah, I will say yeah. that I was sitting next to a dad, and I think oh, his great. son, and his son was like very excitedly pointing cool. out things. Yeah, As yeah. the movie's going, mm -hmm. it definitely enhanced the experience for me to be like, oh yeah, if I were, if I wasn't gonna think about yeah. the script, <laughs> you're sitting there like this, like, how is okay? Hmm, but now, where's Monarch? And this yeah. kid's just like, yeah, yeah. that's right. That's I do like, appreciate. I've been rewatched a lot of the Monster yeah. Universe ones too. This one, there's no fight in at night or in the rain. Yeah, which, yeah. that is like the gimmick for Godzilla and uh, uh, King of the Monsters, where it's like that Ghidorah yeah. fight at the end is great and cool, but it is so dark. Sure. Yes. There's so much rain, yes. just hiding the CG, which is fine, which is fine. This does feel like the this 70s. doesn't do that, and I think it hurts yeah. it a little bit. Like it yeah, starts right with fake. Kong, and like Super I, I don't fake. think he looks great. Like, yeah. I don't think the CG really nails yeah. it at that at the first well, sequence where you really need it to. Hold on to that, Brandon, because we're going to talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have thoughts. Script, script. script, so, okay. I, yeah, maybe I was thinking a little too much, but... <laughs> and, and that's your fault, <laughs> and that's Evan. My, and that is my... You were wrong, wrong to think about it. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to no, stop no. thinking. No. Um, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 2.5. I think I did like it more than I thought I was going to like it on the whole, and yep. we'll get into some more thoughts about like the, the monsters and stuff later. Okay. Uh, but yeah, two point five for me. Brandon, did you rate it yet? No. I gave it two. You okay. It two, I'll, go, right? I'll go. I'll go. I'll okay. go. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll be this movie's fan in this okay, discussion because okay, okay. I really had a fun time. Good. Great. Um, you know, and hard not to compare it to Godzilla minus one. Sure. Right. Uh, oh, it's so hard. Which yeah. is which is this is now Godzilla Kong, not a brilliant movie. Godzilla minus one is, and I think even if you don't love kaiju movies, mm -hmm. see Godzilla minus one, see it, see it, see it. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. great. There's definitely and, a lot there. For and you. as yeah. a kid who watched all these movies growing up, we would get them from. Uh, our Kmart had a $5 oh, VHS baby. bin, which would be full of Godzilla movies. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if I was good in Kmart, I would get a little Godzilla to take home with me. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, it's funny, there's been so many of these movies, and it started out kind of like Godzilla Minus One, a kind of darker, serious, yes. kind of serious movie about the horrors of war. Yeah. But then, you know, as Godzilla kept getting sequelized, they got crazy and they got kind of silly. And as a kid, I loved both of them. I loved the serious ones and I also yeah. loved the silly ones. And I like that we're in a world where we can have the satirical, you know, maybe not satirical is kind of the wrong word, but the commentary filled, yes. you know, look at uh, the darkness inside humanity. Mm -hmm. And then we can have just this crazy wrestling match <laughs> and the action in this movie is kind of like Looney Tunes, or it's mm. kind of like pro wrestling. You yeah, know? yeah, it's yeah. Very he body silly. slams Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of just wrestling moves. At some point, Godzilla picks up the little Kong and uses him as a weapon Wild. to hit up. It's Wild. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like laughing while all this was happening, and I just I I found myself thinking like I I like that we're in a time now where we can have the like good serious Godzilla movie, and then just this insanity. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, so I, I really appreciated that about it, and I uh, did not think too much about the Hollow Earth stuff. <laughs> uh, so I had a good time. But yeah, I, I think maybe also kind of worth saying that stuff you were talking about is like, it really is very cavalier toward the death of millions. Sure. <laughs> millions, potentially, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. lot in this world, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. And, and you know, and I think a, a, a smarter person than me could talk more about this, but I think there's some, like, icky old tropes with, like, the tribe of people who live in the yeah. center of the earth. Those, yeah. That's some, like, yeah. maybe some icky stuff left over from the original King Kong. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I can understand watching the movie and going, like, eh, maybe we shouldn't have included this or we should have thought more sure. about this. Sure. Uh, but I think as far as like just pure go to the movies and see it in a theater fun, uh, I really liked it. So I'm going to go with 3.5. 3.5. Mm, nice. Okay. Brandon? I think I, I'm going to stick with it too on this one. Great. You know, I don't think it was any, like any of the human scripting was any worse than like Godzilla versus Kong. No. I was just mainly mad that Kong never bit the Eiffel Tower after we were promised. The bat tooth could bite through the Eiffel Tower. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Or also, the fact that he doesn't okay. use a tooth at all. It's, well, it's, it's, it's yes. played as like a bit of like the Scar King goes, look at this punk with a fake tooth. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny, guys? Look at this you guy. You wanted him it's, to chop down on Scar King. Check I love, off's, check off's yeah. tooth. And I even yeah. heard someone <laughs> as we were coming out of our full Dolby screening, lots of laughs. Uh, a lot of laughter. Somebody right? going, Man, someone going like, I can't believe the tooth didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody literally said it. Only we were all Burbank. waiting for that. Only in tooth. Burbank will you yeah, hear yeah. that kind of commentary. <laughs> Maybe nerds they were, living in Burbank. Their neck problems. We're all yeah. tracking Chekhov's tooth, yeah. man. Yeah. It didn't go off. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, someone in the chat asking, uh, Jordan, what would happen if you were bad at Kmart? Oh. If you're good at Kmart, you get the Godzilla? If I was bad, we yeah. would get regarding Henry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tuesdays Another, with Maury, VHS. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> I put I put a, I, I would put, get locked in a closet. <laughs> I, had a very, no. I remember <laughs> putting a uh, a Millennium Falcon toy on layaway at Kmart. Oh yeah. And my mom oh. would take me every week and I put a little bit of my allowance in to get it. Whoa. Eventually Whoa. I got it. Remember Whoa. layaway kids? Dude. Did you're responsible with money. Uh, not anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> once you got it, <laughs> once I got it, baby. Gone. Uh, all right, let's talk about some of the acting. We got okay. returning cast members: Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, and the young girl Kaylee Hoddle. Yeah. Um, Dan Stevens uh, is Trapper, yeah. the vet. Uh, Fala Chen, who was uh, who played Shang Chi's mom in uh, Shang Chi, uh, is here as the leader uh, or alleged leader of the Iwi uh, people. Alleged um, leader. Yeah, we. You don't. You don't. Know. You, don't, you, don't you don't believe she was elected fairly. Yeah, I don't know. Credentials <laughs> 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 here. Uh, and then uh, Alex Fur from Andor as McHale. Oh, yeah. baby. I was so happy to see him. I was McHale. like, who's this guy? Why does he look it's so great. familiar? Here, yeah. I was so annoyed, too. When... <laughs> Did you guys see Chernobyl? Too? He was in Chernobyl. He was awesome. Really? Oh, oh, a bunch oh, of the Chernobyl, Chernobyl cast that they filmed in England, I think, were also in Andor. Oh, okay. When you watch Andor, Maybe you're the like... Same casting but I actually. watched Chernobyl after Andor, so I was like, oh, there's a bunch of Andor actors <laughs> in this amazing, horrifying drama. Yeah. I, I was mad when they were like, when Mikhail's like, oh, we're gonna prep a team to go down there, in and yeah. out. The team was just- It was them. And yeah. then they were like, yeah. make another seat for this guy. Yeah. And it was like, well, there's another seat in our six person craft. And yeah. we had five, only five people sure. for this team. They didn't bring anyone else Again. with guns. You're thinking yeah. too much. <laughs> but they made it make a team. The whole, yeah, there's alarms team. going off everywhere. Like, it, you gotta go now. It, and it was like, yeah, I kind of wish there would just been a separate ship yeah. full of yes. disposable yes. actors. Oh, that get killed oh, immediately. Instead, that would be instead cool. they gotta kill my guy with give a tree him, monster. Give him red shirts if yeah. you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Let them all get <laughs> taken out. Because if, okay. if 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 little girl didn't push her way onto the, the boat, and if Brian Tyree Henry doesn't push his way yeah. on the boat, it's just the three of them going Yeah, That's not a team. That's not a team. To go check the outpost that they're not getting a radio signal from? Yeah, in, exactly. a, in a hollow earth that they've only mapped 5% of that's full of horrific monsters? So the performance is pretty good, I think. The performances <laughs> across the board. We love but him. he did a great job. I mean, he was yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. With he his little great. glasses, when he's like, yeah. I'm ready to dive down. I think my, my weak point in this is probably the Dan Stevens character. Yeah, as a character, yeah. New character, but had like some history with the Rebecca Hall character. I just, you know, I didn't need them to bring back like Millie Bobby Brown, no, or Kyle Chandler yeah. from Monarch, or any of the previous was Alexander actors. Alexander Skarsgård, like, did he die? No, I think he time? lived to the okay. end of the last one. So it's like, yeah, if they're not bringing him right. back, I like some of the consistency. It's been an interesting thing throughout these movies. Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting for like a flashback that brings back Tom Hiddleston and Brie Larson right, you know, right. from like the 70s and like they're at Monarch yeah, or, yeah. you know. Maybe they were in the Hollow Earth the whole time. I don't know. Right. Maybe like they, you age slowly There you go. I because oh. that's what the TV show revealed. That is correct. <laughs> oh, does it? Yes, yes, correct. yes. And that the would be sweet. The TV show established that awesome. when you go into the Hollow Earth, yeah. 
time is moving yeah. much slower there, and it moves much, it moves at a normal speed. Why do you think Kurt Russell path. looks so good? He's supposed to be ninety years old. That's why. Wow. Uh, so awesome. if you're down there, there for a while, while. Yeah. I'm gonna watch this show. It's no. Fun. <laughs> that great? It's a great but, breakdown on New Rockstar about the show. I always think about how like they had Ken Watanabe in that first yeah, Godzilla yeah, film. Yeah, let him fight. He was in the second one, but then they he killed him Godzilla off in the second one. He had a pretty, uh, he had a, King of the Monsters, he had a pretty yeah. good death in King of the Monsters. He ends up sacrificing himself to sort of resurrect and save Godzilla. And there's this great moment, by the way, I want to say. I think Jessica mentioned it in the breakdown, but if not, um, in the script for Godzilla, King of the Monsters, his character says, before he hits the bomb, goodbye, old friend, as he looks at Godzilla, mm. as Godzilla's like oh, dying. Okay, yeah. But during the table read, Ken Watanabe read that in Japanese. And the director was like, oh, I'm so dumb. Uh, of course that should have been in Japanese. And yeah, the, so now yeah, he yeah. says it in Japanese in the movie, which is just like really uh, cool moment. But Ugh. I'm still also like, part of me is like, man, they should have had the Monarch show star Ken Watanabe. Yeah. They should have, you know, you should bring back these actors if you have these amazing actors. Right. So maybe the weak point for me with the Dan Stevens character is that he was maybe like a little too zany. You yeah, know, but, but that, again, yeah, yeah. that fits the writing. Yeah. Right, and yeah. the Rebecca Hall character is more like the straight-laced character. Brian Tahiri Henry was great, and they brought him yeah. back. So I guess I'm just complaining, like, cast could have been better, cooler, more people, more yeah. disposable, you know, guys. It was, it was a him. lot of people time, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, Fine. with all that people time, yeah, have, have some more fun with it. I don't know, the weird... Like exposition of like Trapper and Rebecca Hall went to college together. Yeah, and, it doesn't yeah. go anywhere. That right. that leads nowhere. And right, you know. So three, three out of five. It's <laughs> fine. They're fine. Great, fine. Cast yeah, them. I think everybody knows what movie they're. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brian Rebecca Brian... Hall plays it very serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I think she really does a great job because I think it's really easy to phone in that specific yeah. right. character with the emotion and everything. Yeah, and I think she brings just the right amount of emotion to it where you're just like, great, I you you're in it. You, yeah. Whatever you're doing, you're in it, you know? You, you know, you like neg your stepdaughter into staying with you. Yeah. Like, no, oh, no, no, no. You no, just no, want to no. probably stay out here with all these okay. cool people. No, no, no. No. She's like, you go up to the surface and you don't have wanna... ice cream for breakfast. Yeah, I guess you ever want to use TikTok again. No, <laughs> no, no. I guess. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I did, I thought Rebecca Hall was great, and I did, I did really like her relationship mm -hmm. with the daughter. Yeah. I thought it was yep. very sweet. Yeah. And, the, and the fact that, like, anything in this movie could make me feel emotional. I'm right, like, right, wow, right, right. I'm yeah. feeling something. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I thought their relationship was very sweet and very well done. Yeah, Brian Terry Henry's gate, great. As someone who has a podcast, I think mm. we should have more heroic <laughs> podcasters in I movies. I agree. We are the heroes. <laughs> and not just a kid named podcast in the Ghostbusters oh, franchise. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen those. <laughs> that sounds Titan, bad, though. Is, is there a Titan Truth podcast? Like, they should. Like, that, it should, oh, they should, 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 should put be a that out. It should yeah. be the name. Yeah. It should be the name like of the after like, show. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. More heroic like podcasters in movies. So, yeah, I and I I do I I did kind of like Dan Stevens's goofball character. I thought it was like fun. He you know, as a Downton Abbey fan, it was great seeing him uh, yeah. live on as Trapper and, as and Trapper, just have a great yes. time mm -hmm. uh, playing the same song over and over again. We'll save that for the song. Yeah. The sound <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, I, I I guess I kind of liked the acting maybe more than I realized I did. I'm gonna give it yeah. a four. Okay, mm. okay. I'll give the acting a three point five. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty much right there. Yeah, okay, three point five. Yeah. I th you know, yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough acting on green screens and yeah, you know, being is. like, okay, now you're spinning and the earth is spinning and right. you're spinning. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they all had fun. Yeah. They had yeah. a good time. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, before we get to the rest of it, uh, we want to thank our sponsors today, one of which is Miracle Made. Uh, and I love the sheets they sent me. You've heard me on the show uh, this whole week talking about uh, it feels like sleeping in a hotel, and I sent Brandon my room service order, and all that is true. <laughs> it's true. But um, they're really comfortable sheets, and your temperature has a huge impact on how well you sleep, and their sheets, Miracle Made sheets, use silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA. We make temperature regulating bedding that lets you sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. These fabrics also prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne, and nobody wants to sleep in that. Uh, with Miracle Made sheets, your sheets stay fresh and clean three times longer than other sheets. They're also luxuriously comfortable without the help price, without, without the high price tag of other luxury brands. It's like sleeping in a five-star hotel. I would know. Um, <laughs> have you slept in a five-star hotel? I have, yeah. It is fun. Pretty close to that, actually, from what I remember. Okay. Uh, okay. So go to trymiracle.com slash breakroom to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our code BREAKROOM at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. 
Miracle is so confident in their product, it's back with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisf satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash breakroom and use the code breakroom to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash breakroom to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. I was like, was something weird in the grammar down there? I don't know. I, I don't it. know. We'll never good, know. No, that was a good read. We'll never <laughs> that was know. a really good read. Miracle Thank Made. M -A -D -E. Miracle Made. Miracle, Miracle Made. Made. Yeah. Very Miracle good Made. read. We also want to take a quick second to shout out our sponsor, CallShe. CallShe is the first legal financial exchange in the U.S. where you can bet on any event. Any event. Uh, for us, we love to bet on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, they're never wrong. Uh, Furiosa's <laughs> new trailer is out right now. I don't know if you caught it. Uh, and that's fueling speculation on whether or not the Rotten Tomatoes score Ooh. will be above 90 for this movie. I say yes. Can George Miller do Ooh. it again? I yes! You I, can, the yeah. man can do anything. There, we're getting yeses here. You yeah. can buy shares on yeses now uh, before the movie even comes out. You can buy shares up to the point that that Rotten Tomato score comes out. The prices will fluctuate. If you buy it at like a low price, mm -hmm. you see the price goes up, you can sell ahead of the score coming out. So you, you, can, wow. you can make a little moolah even if it doesn't hit that 90, but the price goes up. You just got to watch it. It's kind of like fancy football. Okay. It's like you're a day trader. Okay, it's like you're in the boiler room, all right? Ooh, you're Leo room. DiCaprio. You're, Leo oh. DiCaprio. you're on the yeah. phone in a strip mall, and you're like, I'm telling you, this is the best stock I've ever seen. I'm not going anywhere. I mixed two parts of the movie together. Is that okay? Yeah, you did Wolf of Wall Street and Boiler Room, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Leo's <laughs> yeah. 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 not in Boiler yeah. Room. those numbers yeah. up. Uh, Vin Diesel? Uh, Vin Diesel's there. Oh. Uh, giving a serious turn. I don't know. Uh, and maybe you don't want to bet in Rotten Tomatoes because okay. you think it's a it's a useless website that has skewed cinema in a bad direction. Maybe yeah. that's you. It's not me. Maybe that's you. You can bet on anything. You can bet on politics, music, climate, economics, tech, gaming, and more. You can oh. sign up by going to callshe.com slash breakroom, and the first 500 traders will get a free $20 credit. Uh, make some bets. Make some futures. Trade, trade your future. Trade your future. Is that their call sign? They should uh, take that model. Yeah, trade we'll your future. Yes. You're watching. Sounds a little ominous, but okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just the way I'm saying it. Okay. Uh, and this is it. This is the last day this that Jellybean Planet is sponsoring the oh, show. No. So after this, you'll never see Jellybean Planet again on the break room until they decide to sponsor. Send again. send letters. Don't send letters. don't send an email. Ah. Write a letter. I'm gonna eat some now. Well, how could, how could a planet. letter get to a planet? Uh, you gotta you gotta uh, put it in a can of gotcha and send it airmail to the moon. You know what I mean? Oh, you could, you that could, makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're sending a signal out constantly. Yeah, so the signal, yeah. Maybe you should email. Anyone watch Three Body Problem? You get it, you get I it. I haven't started. Um, Easter is right around the corner, literally. It's Sunday. It's this uh, coming Sunday. Today, today's Good Friday. Not so good for the man, but mm. uh, good for the rest of us. <laughs> Talking about Christ? Yeah, I always thought it was weird they called it Good Friday. And this is like his worst Friday. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, we're talking about Mothra is risen indeed, y'all. <laughs> yes. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe yeah. Judas, Judas goes to the temple, he presses a button, some water oh, trickles down, mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. stone gets rolled away. I mean, they That's rolled a we're... stone into the lava to let Shimu out. Oh, yeah. Also, but okay, I can't. I, I don't want to. I can't do. We're in the oh, middle of an ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ, thank you. <laughs> and by <laughs> jelly beans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing better than Easter eggs are Easter eggs filled with jelly beans. That's you right. know the whole spiel. The jelly beans are great. Truly. Are uh, there there's... GMOs in these jelly beans? No, okay. there aren't. Oh, good. How do uh, they color it? Uh, all natural colors. Oh, okay. Is, this Are there, I've eaten is there gelatine? I feel better. There's no gelatine. Is there palm oil? No palm oil. Oh my gosh, I gotta try some of these jelly beans. And there's not even any gluten. Ooh. Um, so use code 15 Rockstar to get 15% off a 42 and a half ounce jar of, of Jelly Bean Planet. Jelly beans today, you can use the link in the description. Uh, or find them on Amazon. Come back, Jelly Bean Planet. Yeah, thank you so much, Jelly Bean Planet. It's been these great. are great beans. Been great. It's been They're really great. good. I love these oh, beans. Yeah. 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 I'm rolling on these beans. Can't get enough. <laughs> Don't say that. 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 If the beans are a little strong, just take half. <laughs> see how you feel. Yeah, I, I usually do half a pomegranate. Yeah. Evan, were you about to ask a question about the the uh, the lore of Christianity? Were you about to be like, this doesn't make any sense? How did Jesus? Or were you overthinking it? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah, do yeah. It. <laughs> Let me stop you right there. So the last that supper. No, I, was doing, I was doing research on <laughs> Invincible because of the character Black Samson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and like. In the Samson story, it's not clear in the Bible whether or not he grows his hair back to get his strength back. He's he's just there for a while, so it's assumed his hair grows mm -hmm. back. Mm. But maybe his hair never grew back, and he just got strong through the power of God. Can I say it's my favorite thing in the world when a new rock star's breakdown video 
whether it's Eric or Jessica mm -hmm. or whatever, like pivots to explain a reference to something and then goes and explains like religious, like, like <laughs> lore. I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is so funny to me when Eric Voss is like, oh, this is what this was. This was, and I'm like, this is ha crazy that this is happening for like an invincible In thing. episode three of uh, X-Men, she says, I know, uh, Madeline Pryor, the yeah. Goblin Queen says, I know not what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A reference to Jesus on the cross, mm -hmm. Good Friday. Wow. Saying, forget them, Father. They know not what they do. Wow. Mm -hmm. They know not what they do. Sometimes I do feel like I miss a lot of uh, references in the world because I don't know anything about religion. Oh, I don't know either, but I, I'm, I'm good with my, my, my <laughs> understanding yeah. of religion. I watch go to newrockstars.com, yeah. buy the price to get saved today. <laughs> Ooh, we should get watch. 50 percent off salvation. Ooh. <laughs> do it, do it, like, <laughs> do it deep. Breakdowns of uh, the Left Behind series with Kirk yeah, Cameron or something like that. You can go book like by book of the Bible. Oh, we could go through the Bible oh, that would book be by book. This is from the Sumerians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the references to the previous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this was stolen God. from the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. This was NSFW. It's the Song of Solomon. And it's gonna get hot here on New Rock Stars. <laughs> uh, hey, let's talk about those visuals. All We're right. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Listen, I felt this whole movie was really gooey. It's a lot of goo. Ooh, we're talking about yeah. goo. Ripping, oh, the they're, green they're goo. ripping people up. Yeah. You know, Are all types of green on the inside? Is, oh, that, a, is, is that, that, that a thing? thing? Do you count yeah. lava as goo? Oh, I yeah. don't. I, okay. I I guess for the sake of this, yes, but normally okay. no. But okay. there is, I mean, we've talked about like the gooey problem in CGI before. That's yeah. maybe not uh, necessarily what I'm talking about, but there is just like, they're always ripping people when Kong, up. Oh, good. Kong at the beginning rips yeah. that wolf in half oh, and yeah. bathes in the goo. That was awesome. And then instant yeah. regret where he's like, uh, this was not worth Monday. it. I should have just died. Mondays, huh? Yeah. He does like the angry great. shower. He's like, oh, I got green goo. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I really wanted Kong to cook up that sea monster. That'd have been when cool. When he chopped it up, it looked, yeah. it looked very appetizing. Yeah, I thought he was going to cook it a little no, bit. No, but sushi's just, good. Just ate it wrong, yeah. Kaiju yeah. sushi. Yeah, but you can't eat the guts. That's where he gets sick. I do like the progression that Kong is now like setting traps, yeah, and using yeah. weapons. Mm, I think yeah. that's very cool. But yeah, I thought it would lead to cooking. I yeah. thought he would yeah, have a yeah. little. Because that was always my, that was always my thing. <laughs> Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> that when Kong makes it to the Hollow Earth and he realizes like, oh, there was other Kongs. Yeah. yeah. And they built temples. Yeah. They built weapons, and like he realizes he's the dumb. No, I, I think the those things Kong. could have been built by little humans. No, no, absolutely, absolutely no, not. I think absolutely so. not. Because when they go down in there, they had a thing where the light and the, the axe it activated something. There's no way the, the Ewu tribe was building that. Well, in the uh, King of the Monsters, when they go into some of the Hollow Earth stuff as well, again, maybe like a top level mm -hmm. layer of the Hollow Earth, uh, Ken Watanabe and crew, Kyle Chandler, and then they go in there and like they're they're. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what was the name of the actor from Get Out, the dad from Get Out, uh, uh, Bradley, Bradley Whitford. Bradley Bradley Whitford. Bradley. He's yeah, like him this back. civilization. Yeah, he's still alive. This civilization's older than they list all of the yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like Egyptian or Aztec mm -hmm. or Maya or whatever. And then they see some kind of generic looking thing. So like human beings are supposed to have been down there forever. Maybe even came from there. Yeah. They could have built the huge. Throne slash okay Kong we got this uh, this Godzilla the stair scale the stairway up the courts the thing they really jumped the gun. Where know. She's like I'm really worried about her. I'm like you should be worried about her going up this stair. Yeah. It's so tiny. tiny. Yeah, and she's way up there. Yeah, I mean Where, Ashley look. and Battle in the chat makes a good point that they can manipulate gravity too. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, so that's true. They, they so, could do a lot. Oh, I guess yeah. that's, oh, that's how that's the pyramids true. were built. No, nope, but I thought they're only they're only manipulating gravity in their little space. Sure, right. They're not manipulating it throughout the. I don't know, but it depends on how far that know. liquid stuff, you know, like how what's the range on that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's this category? Cinematography? This is, this is the <laughs> visuals. <laughs> oh, oh, visuals. Oh, 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 visuals. What, visuals. Yeah, okay. What, one more, uh, really quick, one more visual thing I wanted to say. Uh, I really liked, like, the. I think we can get into some of the, the monsters and the physicalities because mm -hmm. so much of that is visual, I guess. Um, but man, Mini Kong is a rat bastard. He's a I really, bastard. He's I a really stinker. wanted to say that earlier. Yeah, I didn't get to say stinker, it. I just wanted to make sure that that happened. Yeah. Like when it. they, when Kong starts <laughs> swinging him around, he's with a weapon. We were saying, I'm like, is this a child or yeah. is it like a, a little <laughs> unclear? Let me a tell little you person it. version of an ape. There's like, a weird thing that leaked a while uh, a few months ago or something of like the height of the Mini Kong mm -hmm. is a hundred feet. Because yeah, he runs. Pretty this is Kong. anytime they're in Hollow Earth, it's so confusing how big. Yes. It, is. it really yes. ruins scale. Yes. This is like the Quantumania yes. problem. If that counts, it yes. Because when he was yes. running behind Kong, he would run past a tree and was as tall as the tree. I was like, yes. okay, so this little guy is very big. Yeah. And Kong is very, very big. And they've obviously 
sized up Kong a ton yeah, mm -hmm. right. than the original so to version to, so he could uh, fight Godzilla. To try to answer that question, in Skull Island, Kong was supposed to be around 100 feet tall. Yeah. And then they said in that movie, he's still growing. He's adolescent. So then by the time we get to they fight, they're around the same. They're mm -hmm. like 300 feet tall. Oh, but now wow. this little dude is also 100 feet tall. And I'm going, why was why is he this tall but looks like baby? Right. But mm -hmm. Kong, I think he's another species. He's like another species of Because he was an orange-ish, right? That makes sense. Orange -ish. Well, there's, there's a shot, too. <laughs> there's a ton of them down there. See, the movie makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, there's know, a shot, too, before Every, the Scar the King the thing. Yeah. leaves his area to go do try to get to the sure, portals sure. where he gets the message. Where they kind of pan over it, and he has almost like a harem, right? Yeah. There's some female yeah. kids, and I think a few of them had kids. And I took it to be he's one of theirs. Oh, this is he's, an immortal he's Joe red. situation. Yeah, 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 he's red. Oh, but yeah. like the Scar King doesn't like love his kids. He's right. just banging apes, right? Sure. So he can have he's have a good time. He's, he's and Joe, and this like other dude that got kicked in the lava, pretty brutal. Yeah, I know. I know. that was like a father figure to yes. this yes. little guy. Yes. Which was really sad. I didn't take it to be his father. Maybe I, don't know. Just I think just they have a communal way of raising yeah, yeah. the kids. Yeah. There's no dads. There's no moms. Everyone's fucking. Everyone's sucking. Right? They don't know who the dad and moms are. About it. Don't give him names. This movie has a lot of fucking and sucking in it. I really oh, thought. Really surprised. I really four out of five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. thought because they established Shimu as a lady. Yes. They they gender Shimu. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Another Godzilla is male. Kaiju. Yes. I really thought they were gonna hook up yeah. and have a baby. That'd have been nice. And then yeah. I thought the post-credit scene would be an oh, egg. egg. Yeah. And but it's also, like this is what. Oh, it next. has ice powers and yes, nuclear it powers. Is. Oh, oh yeah. Weird thing. That's cool. Post no, so this, in this movie. That I should have oh, said yeah. this in the script part. I don't think this movie does a good job of being like, okay, here's where we would like to go next. That's. It's that's just kind of like that's we're true. here now. That's true. Yeah. And I will. Someone say, else is proud. And we're going back to script here. I will say I liked that about it. Okay. I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, I think you know something we chat a little bit about when we were chatting about Dune, which mm -hmm. I liked a lot and is a much better movie than this movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something I... People talked about Dune like it was like the payoff for the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not really. There's a lot of setup for stuff that doesn't happen in Dune right. yeah. And while it is a great movie, I just... And same with Spider-Verse too, which I... Another movie I loved. It's a, a great movie. Yeah. But also yeah. there was a like, oh, come on, this isn't a full yeah. story. Mm -hmm. I did a like how standalone this was. Right. And they bring it's in over. other characters from other things, but I kind of liked how it was one and done. And I was excited for a post credits but when they, we didn't have it, I'm like, you know what? This is okay. Yeah, because yeah, it, okay. it feels like their plan at least as an outsider looking in, has been like, they're making these movies all with the intention of like, okay, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, right, yeah. right, the end of, King of the, the end of King of the Monsters was like, we're teeing it up, they're gonna fight. And yeah. they had a little post-credits thing of like, these two alpha titans are maybe gonna... Well, even King of the Monsters, right, kind of shot their load a little on like, yes. oh, well, here's Rodan, here's yeah. Ghidorah. True, true, here's true, 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 because I think... Behemoth, like, they could have... Parsed all those out. I think the deal was with like Toho being yeah. like, you get them all for one movie, so right. they're like, we have to. But anyway, at the end of Godzilla vs. Kong, the last one that came out in the pandemic, 2021, mm -hmm. I also felt like I didn't know where they were going after. Sure. Because I because I don't think there's a clear direction. I think they opened up Hollow Earth in that one, and it was like, yeah. Kong's in Hollow Earth now, yeah. and he's going to discover something down there. There you go. So that's, but that is true about this. It's sort of like, is there going to be another film? I guess I the ending is, know. this is the new empire. Kong is in charge of empire. all these yeah. apes. Sure. But if, and he's gonna if, give them freedom, and he's gonna set yeah. up capitalism. I, mean, if, I don't know. Yeah, if the, the, you know, if the <laughs> movie they're building to doing, I think their secret wars is destroy all monsters, right? Isn't okay, that, that's yeah, kind of yeah. the or a yeah. final yeah. wars, perhaps something like that. Where it's that. like yeah. the humans are gonna decide we can't live with Godzilla anymore. We got to get rid of all the Titans and oh, like just so this is like how to train your dragon, the hidden world. Yeah, like, 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 oh, we're, we're done. Or maybe it's yeah. more mechs, more we're, mechs. We're out of we're out of old. Landmarks. They've destroyed everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I know. We, yeah. we need to start from All scratch. Recognizable <laughs> landmarks. I think we're, what we're saying, it really so basal in the barrel spinner in the chest, is I feel like that the monster versus strength, unlike the MCU, doesn't lock itself into a specific yeah. path, right? Sure. The sure. fact that we can talk about this, it feels so flexible. There's any they could go in. They can keep going yeah. deeper in Hollow Earth. Yeah. What's I below mean, subterranean? So I don't know. Hollow Earth. Cool. Maybe, also, uh, frankly, I don't think the MCU is locked into something right now. Right, right now. I yeah. also yeah. would yeah. argue that's kind of their uh, one of their weaknesses right now. Mm -hmm. when the MCU mm. was really firing on all cylinders is because they sure. were like, we're moving towards Thanos. Yeah. Sure, and right sure. now, I guess they were moving towards Kang, but now maybe not. So, yeah. it's, you know. Anyway, um, to go back to the visuals on this, there are, mm. there are some shots that look fantastic. What's your favorite? Yeah, yeah what are your, like, your favorite shots from this I movie? I think they spent more time on Kong. Great okay. facial expressions, sure. the animation, the, you know, just some really great moments and some great, like, you know, yeah, dude, when they're I liked the there, pyramid fight yeah. was fun. Like, Mothra shows up, that shit looks dope. Yeah, it's it does look cool. Dope. 
Um, but I think that we've also mentioned a couple times now issues with like the scale. Sure. Going back to the mm -hmm. Gareth Edwards Godzilla, which nailed the scale. Yeah. I missed some of that. But I know that the old Toho 70s movies had a lot of perspective up here. Eye level yeah. for the kaiju. Really silly, really goofy daytime stuff that I think is, can be really fun, but it's tricky to try and do that and still have like, this is the real world type of a, you know, yeah, versus yeah. like a fully animated or something movie. Um, I'm going to give the visuals on this two because there were some great shots, but there were also some shots where it's like, I'm having issues with the scale. Mm. It yeah. felt like, I don't want to say unfinished, but it felt like stuff, some shots with Scar King and all the, just there's so much happening that it was like, it's not blowing me away. Yeah. Mm. Um, but uh, but it is exaggerated and kind of hyper realistic, and it's an ex you know an exaggerated kind of cartoony world. But that's where I'm at. There was a lot of spinning, a lot of spinning in this movie. Okay. I got dizzy at one okay. point. I was like, this is a lot of spinning. Uh, I also thought like that last fight, which they kind of show a lot of in the trailer, mm -hmm. was like visually confusing. It was fi fun to have scale there because right. it was like, With oh, these buildings. are buildings and yeah. these are yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, but it was just like it was all over the place, kind of. And again, I don't think it, anything lived up to the battleship fight in Godzilla Agreed. vs. Kong, which was so good and paced well. Yes. This was like insanely paced. Sure. I, I did really like the shot where the four of them come out of Hollow Earth and the ocean <laughs> yeah. freezes and it's, they're kind of, it's spinning. Yeah. But they're flipping <laughs> over each other and they're all falling in weird places. Like that was fun. Uh, but yeah. I, Godzilla looked great. Love pink yeah, Godzilla. Me too. But again, I wish they had kind of, I mean, it was part of the marketing, but I, it would have been a fun reveal that like, oh, he's pink now. Like yeah. that would have been fun. And like, uh, the, the glove they yeah. sh they showed. If, powerhouse, like, right? If the ri the powerhouse I program. Love, I love the glove. If they, the glove if they, if they didn't show the glove in the trailer and he gets if, the glove in the movie, yeah, I we would have been like, ah! Or if he gets the glove, <laughs> right? He's, he's losing and they're like, Powerhouse stage two, and they yes, drop like exactly. another glove and a helmet oh, and like a back yeah. piece yeah. with wings, and he's flying. Oh, like, <laughs> now I hate the movie. I wish that happened. Why did like, that happen? He goes like, sweet. he goes powering. I don't Megazord. like the movie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would love that. They, did they play the music? Because that was the old. That's the name of the old uh, like Looney Tune song, Powerhouse, right? Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, played the that. factory yeah. song. Yeah, that they played, a conveyor belt. Dun, they played that one song all the time. I mean, that's the lesson they learned from Kong Skull Island, right? Is like the old timey the seventies seventies music. Yeah. For, I think the, for they, Kong. They, they learned that lesson from Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, yeah. And by yeah. they, I mean every fucking yes. movie in Hollywood yes. is, is pulling that lesson from Guardians right. of the Galaxy. I think. Yeah, they need to sue that Borderlands trailer. Jesus. James Gunn should be getting $20,000. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's what happened to Suicide Squad, right? Yeah, like, yeah. They so made that trailer with, what, with Queen. What you guys are saying is that this movie works best showing it to a kid who hasn't seen any trailers. Yeah, Because yeah, it's yeah. going to be mind-blowing thing after oh, mind-blowing yes, thing. Yes, oh, yeah. 100%. I'm trying yeah. to remember back to, like, Avengers Age of Ultron 2015. Did mm -hmm. they show the Hulkbuster in the trailer? Like, no. Iron Man fighting so. Hulk? I don't, I don't because think so. similar ish, like you know, when he's calling that down mm -hmm. and he armors up to the Hulkbuster oh, yeah, and sure. fights the Hulk, it's cool as shit. And that's in Act Two. Yeah, it's not even like the finale. Yeah, of that yeah, movie. yeah. And I, think, uh, and I think that is maybe a big part of why I think we can all agree Avengers Endgame was one of the most fun things to see yes. in the theaters because you didn't see shit going right. on. Yeah, for movie. sure. For and sure. I think it, obviously because the movie is very good yeah. and the culmination of all these great Marvel movies that we yeah, love, but, but also those like, moments they yeah. held. Yeah, the it's a shame. I, know. It, I don't like when trailers show Act 3 stuff. It's, it's or just those big it. reveal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's true. Um, I mean, the, the big reveal here was Mothra, right? Like, yeah. That was yeah, the big surprise. Yeah. And Mothra, Mothra looked good. Great. Yeah, Mothra, Mothra But I was also confused, too, because Mothra was a post-credit in Godzilla, King of the, the Monsters. Monsters. Yeah. That Mothra, no. there was a larva still alive no. underneath the Earth? That was a King Ghidorah head. I thought... That was the post-credit. What was the post-credit that there was a Mothra still alive? Or I don't know like if that. there was. I think I maybe was we one. saw a dossier with a Mothra yeah. in one of the movies. If we go back to that her, Jessica but... breakdown, it may have been that. I know. Because <laughs> yeah. I think that there was a hint that she well, was pregnant. Well, there's a hint in the first... Oh, wait. oh no, yeah. No, yeah. A suspected second Mothra egg has been discovered in the ending credits okay. of King of the Monsters. King, okay. Yeah. Because oh, Mothra sacrifices herself. Right. So they're like, oh... To save Godzilla. They find like a sack. But that's not in Hollow Earth. Earth, I don't think. No, I think it was. So on somehow the Mothra got from the, somehow Mothra returned. Yeah, somehow nice. Mothra. Yes. <laughs> she got, she got from the Earth down <laughs> to the hot. Maybe yes, that wasn't the hot. I, I don't know. Uh, I need a map. I need yeah. a better map. You need a seven-year-old to explain this to you. I do. Because there yeah. was there was a shot. Oh, I, I do think it. it was very smart for like Rebecca Hall during her presentation to be like, 
here's kind of a map, and you kind of get like a little map with little tunnels and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, gateways. Yeah. and for her to say, like, we've only mapped 5%, great. Yeah. Yeah. Very smart. Yep. That, that opens up yep. the universe for you. Because yep. maybe the next movie is solely in Hollow Earth. I, I don't know. And silent, like we were saying. And that's silent, the, that's the really you know. brave sequel. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rank it. I'll say some nice things about the visuals. Yeah, I no. think, you know, a not nice thing is that, like, it never seems like the humans and the monsters are in the same movie. It does yeah. seem like two movies. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. coming off of Dune, which was so gorgeous, and right. uh, you know, Avatar, Way of Water. I mean, the people in the CGI in that movie yeah, really yeah. seem to be in the same movie. Yeah. And this does seem like a movie about people and then an animated movie about monsters <laughs> yeah. that somehow got mashed up in the editing room. Mm -hmm. But I think that something I really liked about it is I think the fight choreography is great. I love the wrestling moves. Yeah. I, I did like all the anti-gravity stuff. I thought yeah. it was cool. I like how they ride each other. I think that's a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, I think that uh, in the monster verse, a strength that it has is great designs. Yes. I think the designs of the monsters are all neat. Yeah. They seem like they are unique to this movie as opposed to just like generic monsters that you can pull out of any sci-fi mm. movie. I, I think they have a, it, these monsters have a great visual style. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we still remember Godzilla and Kong all these years yeah, later yeah. is because they're memorable designs. And yeah. uh, I love that about this movie. I like uh, yeah. Tiamat. Tiamat was TMI. very cool. cool. Yes, we stand yeah. I want to see King. better. And the big I like how the fins thing wrapped around. Yeah, the crab thing was good. The crab thing spitting yeah. web. And it's like great. Tiamat wrapping its fins around like Godzilla's face, I really loved. Yeah. 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 Shimu was cool. I just didn't like the, the turtle face on Shimu. Uh, yeah, they don't look like an old lady. It's okay. The, yeah. the, the thing about the thing I keep seeing, because I I follow like concept artists and like nerds on Instagram, so it keeps popping up in my feed, is like people keep posting the sort of scale chart for these kaiju. Yeah, yeah. And Shimu is so effing huge that it's like the biggest kaiju in the Monsterverse franchise up mm. to this point. In the bit. And I'm just like, man, it would have been great to feel a little bit of that. Because it's, it's always it's, on fours, it, it's right. hard to yeah. tell. Exactly, exactly. But yeah. Um, uh, yeah I have, I'll give the visuals a two and a half. Yeah, two. two uh, half. Yeah, four for me. Four. Uh, three and a half. I really liked all the physicality of the apes. I think yeah. you actually get a lot of the story across the about having knife. Uh, having I like the, the little knife too. <laughs> yeah, little knife's great. Mini Kong being like, I'm gonna be bad. It's like truly like that kind of like henchman turned good guy, but he's like, Yeah, yeah. Meh, meh, meh. It, uh, the whole Mini Kong thing felt like somebody pitched a director, a studio person was like, what if we could find a way to baby Yoda this? Yes. Yeah. And, and Adam Wingard was like, no, that's dumb. And then someone went, well, what if he's a little asshole? Yes, And they were exactly. like, okay. Uh, they, didn't reveal that. That. they didn't reveal on the trailer yeah. that he's yes. a little asshole. <laughs> he's a little stinker. Nice. So a little stinker. What, 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 kind of evil. what were all the apes doing <laughs> in the pit? <laughs> Ah, They're just moving stuff. rocks around. <laughs> you have to. Scar King's like, Scar I just King's need like, busy work for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, guys, today we're going to move all those rocks. I mean, you move Too many rocks over, over here. here. They need to be over there. <laughs> you guys, you're on rock duty for the lava curtain. One of these days, I'm going to need it open. I'll be lounging on my gonna, throne. Yeah. <laughs> what I, I got like, some ladies in the back, and then we'll get to the fucking and sucking. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I like about every single, like, they're all valid criticisms. Evan's overthinking it. It's all valid. What I like about all this stuff is that, for me, it still doesn't take away from the sort of enjoyment of this movie right. and what the franchise is trying to do. Yeah, yeah. But it is also like, man, there is a potential to, like, what if another director came in, or if Adam Wingard wants to keep going, mm -hmm. did a next movie, and someone was like, I'm going to try to bring it back to that Gary. Edwards tone. Yeah. Is yeah. there room for various tones in this franchise? I, I don't love know. that. It would be cool because I know there's room for various tones in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and in Star Wars and whatever, but I don't know if where the MonsterVerse can kind of go, but it would be sick if someone came yeah. in and as a as a storyteller were like, I'm going to really get in depth as to what is happening with this Kong society. Mm -hmm. What's up with the What is this people? new empire? What are, right. What are the rules of the gravitational? Yeah, what yeah. is all the hollow earth? We're going to map it out. Like I would love for somebody to come in and do like heavy, heavy lore right. yeah. and make a, and, and pull a really compelling story out of that. Because they, because legendary, ha they do have a lore master. They do mm -hmm. have like one guy oh, okay. who's like, and trying he is to doing cocaine. <laughs> and she <laughs> hasn't slept in five days. <laughs> it's just like, woo, Tiamat. Like they're gonna ride yeah. each other. <laughs> he sleeps, he sleeps in the Coliseum. There's I'm, portals on the Hollow Earth, but there's other Earths inside it. I'm, I'm fascinated <laughs> to know what the decisions are. I'm right. fascinated mm -hmm. to know if these are like executive notes or if they are yeah. like if they really yeah. are like you guys remember those um it was like a viral video for i think it was like the onion they did like a fake tv channel and they're like we're talking to the screenwriter chris yeah. morgan of fast five oh, yeah. and they it's like cut to like a six-year-old yes. he's like cars go broom like so good. it's just a great video but i wonder if there's like are they like like testing with kid groups are they tr you know trying to figure yeah, out yeah. like what do you guys like about stuff are they because i know adam wingard and whoever else had said before this came out and even before 
Thanos in Endgame and Infinity War, because the MonsterVerse is now going back to 2014, mm -hmm. that they, they had jokingly said, it'd be so cool if Khan could get like a glove or something, like years ago. Right. And it's mm -hmm. kind of evolved into this point. So I don't know if they're still thinking about stuff that's going to pop in years yeah. from now. I don't know what the lore is. I don't know if someone's trying to do maintain serious stuff and other people are coming in and they're like, this right. needs to be zany. I don't know if it's the directors, the writers, the, but there's potential. I'd love yeah. to see people come in and try to take some of these concepts seriously have, and expand like on a, it. It was almost like a throwaway line, I think, that Rebecca Hall says where it's like, we got to do a good job or they're going to bring in private companies again. Yes. Because oh. Apex is dead now, right? I After guess. the events of, of Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong like Apex Industries is, is and, done. Because they made the Mecha Godzilla all that, which is weird because Monarch does a big job of really setting up Apex. Again, yeah. <laughs> they didn't talk to each other for this. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it, I, I think that's like the next step, right? Like yeah. private companies get involved again and you have like, you know, a Richard Branson type taking private uh -huh. tours down to Hollow Earth. And it's like, mm -hmm. we need to get the pharmaceutical industry down there and all that kind of they, stuff. They like a little Jurassic Park down yeah, there. Yeah, privatize yeah. like the Hollow Earth, right? That's the new, you know, kind of like could you play, rim. yeah, could you play refugees down there? Like if they're looking oh. for like, you know, people who are displaced through conflict or war or something like that. Do they go to live in the hollow earth? Yeah. Are they, we like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, Trapper has a great line that's like, don't talk about this place. This, this place is magic, man. Yeah, you gotta it's, keep uh, it. It's just got love yeah. down here, man. Yeah. All these apes are fucking and sucking each other. They don't know who the parents yeah. are, baby Khan. <laughs> and they don't Brian, know who his daddy is. Brian it's Henry. Burning Man, 2048. Yeah, 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 baby. He reluctantly was like, I won't put it on my podcast then. And yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Which is, is that a stupid? choice i don't know it's a bad like choice he is he has he has uh unique access to yeah Earth. i don't know like do know. not it's it's wild that that guy is not involved in monarch at this point yeah, like after weird. what happened go he has yeah. a good point yeah. that like why am i left out of all this yeah yeah, yeah. um okay <laughs> for the sake of time sorry no, we have okay. to we have to wrap we talk all day. two out of five overall. uh <laughs> for yeah just just to quickly go through some of the directing and sound i feel like a lot of the conversation we've had oh, we've yeah. kept going back and touching on some of the sorry, directing sorry, sorry. And stuff it's like hard that. not to it's hard yeah it's hard not to okay. i do think as far as what you're talking about with tone though i do think that this i think he knows what movie he's yeah. making at the very least right and yes. it's like a, a a big battle you know all out like mm. just romp right um i did I like this better than Godzilla vs. Kong? I'm not sure. I gotta think about that. I did not. I didn't. But yeah. I do want to, to mention to everybody watching right now at home who's probably asking themselves, but did Hector see this in 3D? Answer no. I'm gonna rewatch this. Gotta go see it in 3D. Mm. That might bump Fives up the score. The board, might yeah. bump up the score. <laughs> but Godzilla vs. Kong is a sick 3D movie. It's really good. And I still like that more. Mm, uh, yeah. But if we're doing directing, it kind of fits into the cinematography, the visuals, the, the choices yeah, made. Yeah, all the choices. I'm still gonna, I'll, I'll say directing three. I think Adam Wingard did a great yeah, job. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's for, you know, what the movie is. I walked out thinking like, what do I want out of these movies, right? Can they keep doing City Gets Destroyed? They have to keep finding yep. a way to yep. change it. Like, yeah, not easy to direct one of these movies, I imagine, the with, with like most fifth, of it's yeah. CG. You get some time with some actors. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make it like as internationally acceptable as possible so they can play across the world. Yeah. Yeah, I would give the directing a three in this. I think yeah. like yeah. it had big fights, it had some fun moments. There was a little bit of emotion a with bit of emotion. Rebecca Hall and yeah. her daughter. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, I'll give them a three for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how you make one of these movies I at this point. <laughs> how do you? Uh, yeah, I'll continue my standing and bump it up to a four. I yeah, think it had a nice vision go. and uh, it, it, yeah, it, 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 it went, did what it wanted it went to do. whole hog. <laughs> yeah. A 3.5. Nice. Ooh, the, oh, there it goes. The there most goes. Right in the middle. What's the next category? Music? The last one, yeah. Sound and score. Uh, Junkie XL, Tom Holkenberg, and Antonio Diorio. Um, I don't remember much of the music from this, yeah. I'll be honest. And they're, but they're hamstringed, drops. right? Because they can't do the Godzilla theme. I theme, think right? Can. That's a Toho thing, isn't it? I don't it? remember. Because it think, certainly showed, Bear McCreary did it as the composer for the previous movies, for yeah. sure. Because I, I think there might have been like a slight sting of it, but it maybe at one point, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I again, yeah, I don't know what the theme song of this movie would be. You're like right. they, the score, because Kong had given like 70s Elvis pastiche too, right? Mm -hmm. Like he's mm -hmm. kind of like, that's his score. You always, yeah. They always give him a little 70s song at the beginning. There was that song Trapper played all the time, which I don't really know what it was. 
It, yeah, yeah, the Beagle Buffs seem to be disco. And yeah, 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 don't make a, I, I guess my justification in my head was like, I guess this is what Trapper listens to right, yeah, in yeah. his <laughs> plane. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, a dentist, I, he can fly that thing. Yeah. Hopefully I, the glove does its stuff on its own. The glove, <laughs> yeah, the glove knows just what just to do. Just what to do. So like, We're going to get him a glove. Boop, boop. Yeah, it's so Right so when cool. my wife was like, but his hand is still injured, he goes, we're injecting the healing fluid. And it was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's that problem right there. Yeah, I wanted it out. It heals everything. It heals everything. Is the heels. Uh, yeah, you know, the music was a two. I don't know. The but the sounds, two. right? All the, the sounds great. Yeah. Songs you still Dolby. buy the battle, oh, you're right. right? Like the. I'll bump it up yeah. to three and a half because it was loud yeah. and I yeah. liked that. I'll go three. Monsters sound cool. Monsters you know, do sound Godzilla's cool. Godzilla's charging up always sounds cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, it really. His does, roars right. look, look and yeah. sound great. I wanted more Godzilla in this movie. Oh, we haven't so really talked about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a mostly a Kong movie. It's a Kong movie. movie. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's really Kong a Kong movie. movie. Yeah. I think yeah, they've, they've kind of established that like Godzilla has no emotions. Godzilla yeah. doesn't care about people. He's kind purely driven by protecting the Earth. So like, I guess because he doesn't have emotional range, they're like, we don't have much to do with this character. Sure. But I'm into Godzilla, baby. I know. I think yeah. for the next film, if they do another one, I think that it would behoove them to focus more on, can we have the Godzilla character? If it's not a yeah. character who can go through an arc, per right. se, can we give more for Godzilla to do? Mm-hmm. I'm reminded, again, don't want to compare to Godzilla Minus One, completely different film. Sure. Yeah. But I'm reminded about, like, in uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, that he had a few moments with, like, Kyle Chandler, yeah. Or the Ken Watanabe character. Even like, in the first Godzilla, he has moments like looking. Yes. And in Monarchy, he, he like imprints with uh, the daughter. Yes, so uh, you can have some of that. Yeah. And I think Godzilla can be more present in some of the moments. Although, best part of the movie is him curling up like a cat. Oh, like, yeah. like, so cute. Solid, solid. It was so cute. It's super cute. Jumping and, off the rock funny. in Gibraltar. Dude, oh, I yeah. almost cute. thought they were going to cut to someone just holding up a 10. Yeah. Like, yeah. I really yeah. thought they were going to How deep it. is it right That's, yeah, that's the Zucker Brothers Godzilla yeah, yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or like Jimmy Buffett, RIP on a boat, being like, whoa! Oh, not again! Let me get my margaritas yeah. out of here. I oh, just God. got away from Jurassic yeah. World! Why does this keep happening to me? You said 3.5. For sound music, yeah, right? Yeah. Three, what were you at? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go four. four. I liked all the monster noises and I thought the needle drops were kind of cool. Great. They didn't make sense. 3.5. Yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah, 3.5 yeah. guy over here. Uh, before we get the final number, people in the chat have been, uh, after you were talking about tone and you yeah. know where, where you can go, some people have been saying uh, MonsterVerse rom com movie. What, no. what would your what would your MonsterVerse no, rom com titles be? be serious, people. I want to take this seriously. It's, it's, a, it's a MonsterVerse like road trip movie uh-huh. where you're like you're get you got to get from New York to L A yeah. over the weekend, but. A titan is also like on your tail. Listen. He's not chasing you. He just yeah. happens to be going that direction. These are all I don't good hate ideas. that because these are all good ideas. Mixed feelings on the film Cloverfield. Right. But I kind of bought that their motive. Thank you very much, Dash. I kind of <laughs> bought that like one of the like story arcs, the motivation in Cloverfield is like I'm trying to get to this yeah, woman yeah. that I love, a person right. that, I, that we love each other across this destroyed mm-hmm. city. So yeah, maybe. Non jokingly, to take the next film, maybe don't bring back Brian Terry Henry or Rebecca Hall or Dan Stevens yeah, or any yeah. of these characters, new characters, maybe a Kyle Chandler cameo, some monarch presence, something, but like maybe it can be about two characters that are trying to be together in, and then some stuff happens and they're somehow connected to or involved with Godzilla or Kong. I mean, bring whatever. back, let's get, uh, uh, what's her face? <laughs> yes. Let's get <laughs> Austin. Awesome. Uh, Taylor Johnson and Aaron Taylor, Taylor Johnson, Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. No, I'll say pass on that. I'll Aaron Taylor pass Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. Let's oh, bring them no. back. No. Well, they got a kid who's grown up now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kid's Maybe. 14? Yeah. No, no older no, than that because it was wait. 2014, so it's 10 years. How old was there? They were supposed to be like 25 years old and they had like a seven year old kid, yeah. right? Well, yeah. It happens, that, buddy. Um, it happens. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to a few Two. of my cousins. Uh, <laughs> all right. Final number here <laughs> is a 63.5. Interesting. That's not what I would walk away saying the movie was. I would oh. say it was higher, but yeah. You think higher? I, would, I think that's I would, pretty fair. If, I it's it's there, interesting when we fair. do this. Interesting. I, it all down. Okay. I feel we, like I've been I on a lot of these 70... where the movies were really great and we gave super high scores. Yeah. This felt nice. Can we get it? Yeah. Can we get it at like average? Because uh, we're all doing one out of fives, right? Yeah. What's the average out of five? Um, <laughs> if a six, it's a lot of math. <laughs> six out of a hundred or sixty out of a hundred. What is that? One out of five. Uh, no, you know, as as as, two, as, point as five, something like as that. As the one oh. given at the high scores, I think this is a yeah, really three, good fair score. Half, three, I think yeah. some people yeah, will yeah. love this. Okay, I yeah. think that uh, maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I think if you're in the mood for something really silly and crazy, yeah. uh, it'll it'll. No it'll, one, you're right. No one's expecting this to be. 
Dune Part Two, right? Like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. this is trying and to be what it is. This is nowhere near a movie that I think, uh, for example, I, I was way more invested in, and it was expecting more to kind of journey forth. Something like The Flash, which was like a big disappointment for me sure. last mm-hmm. year. I don't think this comes anywhere near close yeah. to being like a big disappointment. That's what we're saying about the MonsterVerse. Like yeah. I like it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Let's yeah. keep it going. Yeah. M- most of it might not be for me, but I'm happy right. it's there. We want more monsters. Yeah. More less people. Absolutely. Uh, Unless it's a rom com of them driving across the US. <laughs> yeah. Hey, make it and happen. And that delightful Sydney Sweeney is involved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get Sydney Sweeney in a MonsterVerse movie. Yeah. I and Boyd Holbrook. Let's go, boy. Let's go, Come boy. Boyd. Boy, 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 bo